Hey guys, welcome back. It has been a little bit of a break. I have been very busy with a few projects. Not to worry. It's not that I... I, I kind of thought maybe I should do a few more vlogs in those couple of days, but to be honest, I just didn't have it in the tank, guys. I was, I was struggling to kind of keep things going ahead and it was either the choice of getting some sleep or doing a vlog. As much as I thought doing a vlog might be kind of fun, getting some sleep was probably a little bit more important at the time. So uh, apologies for the delays. And I got these bad boys. Now this is not dental floss. This is the AirPod. Whoop. As you can see here, there's two little buds inside. Let me show you the inside there, you can see. And they're pretty straightforward. Just stick them in your ears. And it looks like you've got these weird looking things in your ears. Now, I posted a photo earlier today basically asking uh, what people thought about these things when I bought them. Matthew Kemplay Hill said, is that pus coming from your ear? Ian said, your ear is smoking. Jane asked, do I like them? Yes, I actually do. They're very comfortable actually. They're exactly what I want. Jesse said, man, you broke your earphones and they still work. That's X-Files. Rion said, looks like a hearing bait a little bit. Uh, it, yeah, I don't know, what do you think? It kind of, it kind of looks a bit weird. Looks like something weird's coming in my ear. And Ian Olivia says, looks like you stuck a cigarette in your ear. I was walking around the city today with these in. Uh, I was a little bit self-conscious about it, but to be honest, I kind of got used to it. And the fact that I have no cords and I can just do this anywhere in my body and it's fine. I can even take this jumper off without having to unplug myself. You don't understand. I have my headphones in a lot, all day. And for me to go cordless, it had to be right because I didn't want these big bulky headphones going in my ears. And I didn't like the Bose alternatives with the little neck chain around it. I just want something to stick in my ears. That being said though, these are tiny. Like these are so small. Like I will probably lose these. I have a track record of losing stuff all the time. In fact, I'm actually quite concerned that one day I'll probably leave them on the plane. And there's two of them. Like there are two of them. So it's pretty, it's not like they're joined together. One of them will go missing somewhere. The range isn't too bad too. I actually could walk quite a fair way sort of towards the end of my hallway before the signal just dropped out. So I'm gonna show you how far I can walk with this thing. So I've got it playing some music right now. I'm gonna put the phone like literally right underneath the camera. So that's, so you know how far it is. And I'm gonna walk away and I'll tell you how far away I have to get before it suddenly just drops out. So, I don't know if you can see, but it's somewhere outside here on the balcony, which is, even now, I'm getting bits of the music, but it's, it's dropping out, but it's not completely dropped out. So, it's kind of interesting. I don't know if you can see me all the way back there. Man, I had to walk pretty far to get away from that place. I reckon that was a good 20 meters. Yeah, not bad. Like, I thought actually it performed way better than before. That was actually a better test than before. Anyway, I was trying them out today to see how they kind of worked. Um, they're pretty easy to pair. Like, it's quite easy to get them to talk to your Apple devices. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. You just literally just open the case and it suddenly just realizes that it's there. So. Not, not much, it's pretty fuss free. Um, I'm not sure what it's like to test out. I'm not sure how it pairs with non-Apple devices. So that's because like, most of my products here are Apple. So, uh, all right, I'm an Apple fanboy, so sue me. The only thing I don't like about these headphones is the fact that there's no way to adjust the volume on the actual headphone. Like I can't like double tap or something and make it, uh, you know, bring the volume down. I can talk to Siri directly, but it's sort of limited in some respects as well. One of the things I really loved about these headphones is this little thing here where you can adjust the volume up and down, right? And then depending on the type of click gesture, so one would be stop and double would be next track and triple would be going back a track and then obviously up and down would give you the volume controls. I don't have that functionality with these headphones, unfortunately. Like. And I've noticed a couple of times today when I was walking around, I wanted to kind of adjust the volume and there's n I can't do anything. Like I can't double tap and then suddenly it gives me volume. I can talk to the phone though. I can talk to Siri and go, hey, can you lower the volume for me? And it'll do that. Like it's kind of interesting that it can do that, but it's not, it's not the tactile feeling that I was kind of hoping for, but I guess, I guess that's kind of the way that all this technology is going is it's not tactile, it's more virtual. I'm enjoying it so far. It's something I'm gonna have to get used to. I really hope I don't lose these things. Anyway, guys, what do you think? Do you think this was a dumb investment? I'm sure, don't answer that. But what do you think? Do you think it's a fashion accessory? Do you think people will get used to the buds in people's ears? Or do you think it'll just look stupid like those Bluetooth headphones that people wore in the early 2000s? 
hit me up in the comments, let me know, and I'll see you next time. Scandals happen all the time. The question is, how do democracies respond to those scandals? Uh, and what will it mean for, uh, for the wider region? I think one of your children has just walked in. I mean, shift, shifting, shifting sands in the region, do you think relations with the North may change? Um, I would be surprised if they do. The, um, pardon me. That's right, pardon me. My apologies. <laughs> What was this going to be for the region? My apologies. North, uh, sorry. Um, North Korea, North, uh, South Korea's policy choices on North Korea have been severely limited in the last six months to a year. Because